Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out another case from Spigen, and this time in front of us, we have the Spigen Tough Armor case for the iPhone 13 Pro. So the main reason I got the Tough Armor is because I probably said this in a lot of my videos. Uh, the reason is I actually really love the Tough Armor case for uh, by Spigen for my phones, and so I went ahead and got it for the iPhone 13 Pro as well. So let's go ahead and begin with this unboxing and review. So here again, we have our normal speaking packaging. We get a speaking logo and their name something you want We get a quick image right here that actually shows off how it's gonna look on your phone a description right there iPhone 6.1 inch pro 2021 and it says tough armor So on the back we don't have anything and then on the left side and right side We actually get some branding which is okay So we have a nice pull tab that we go ahead and pull up and then we get our case and then there is nothing else inside of the box. So here we have our case inside this plastic pouch, which we're gonna be taking it out of. Like so. And boom, so here is our Spigen Tough Armor case. So right away, uh, this looks really nice and looks really uh, bulky. However, it's not too bulky. So compared to maybe an Otter box or something, uh, this isn't as bulky as that. And it's a lot slimmer compared to those cases. And it actually gives you the same functionality and it protects your phone basically the same way. So one thing I actually don't like about the iPhone, for the ones for the iPhones is that they have this cutout right here for the Apple logo, which kind of bothers me when using the case and that's one of the main reasons why I haven't been really liking the tough armor cases for the iPhones but I still went ahead and got one so let's go ahead and plop our phone in real quick here uh, let me go ahead and show the inside so we do uh, get this uh, for the past two years they've actually been doing this for my s10 series cases uh, they didn't actually have this this is this nice uh, yellow foam which will give you extra protection for your phone uh, for your phone and then we have it on the sides as well as you can see up top right there and then we have it on this side as well so overall you get a pretty nice amount of protection for your phone so let's go ahead and plop it in boom and it's as easy as that so let me go ahead and wipe the screen off my phone so it doesn't look dusty and here we have our tough armor case so the tough armor case uh, fits on really nice everything is really functional the buttons work really nice and overall it's just a uh, Spigen's case that will do everything for you and protect your phone as well so this is the best phone if you're only looking for protection I mean this is the best case if you're only looking for protection from a Spigen case so this is gonna be their best case for that and if you're looking for one like this then this is the one so we do get a nice kickstand right here as you can see and that's one of the main reasons why I actually love Spigen's tough armor series because I actually use the kickstand a lot so when I'm watching something when I'm eating food and watching something on my phone I just go ahead and plop the kickstand out place the phone down and then you're able to watch something and if I'm a little higher than the table I go ahead and place it down like this which gives you a better view so this is gonna be maybe like a 45 degree angle and then this one right here is gonna be like 80 or close to 90 so this will be when you're laying down or when you're maybe putting it on some place that is above your head and then this way is gonna be when your head is actually above the phone and if you're eating this is what I usually keep it at when I'm watching something uh, or when I'm eating some cereal let's say and it's really functional so normally I would have to plop it against something sometimes that thing doesn't hold it up it slides down and it falls and whatnot and so the kickstand has been something that I've been using on my tough armor cases a lot recently and for a while now actually so let's go ahead and talk about the camera hump so here we do have a camera hump uh, the case is already a little thick so we don't get some any uh, we don't get too much so it is a pretty flat case which is nice we do get a, a tad bit more uh, raisivity on this area right here for the camera for the camera however it is going above the camera so that will give you protection for the camera as well which is nice uh, we do again get this cutout right here which actually bothers me a lot when I'm holding the phone sometimes my hand just slips into there and it's kind of annoying I don't know why they did that I guess they wanted to make sure that people knew you have an iPhone or whatnot, but I honestly don't really prefer it. So it would be nice if that was just uh, normal, like my S10e case, uh, the speaking 
uh, tough armor case for the S10E where it's just flat. You don't have any cutouts in the back portion, but they did that and that is okay. We do get these uh, soft touch plastic on the ends right here and then on the corners as well. So when you're holding it, it feels nice in the hand. The grip is pretty nice overall. It doesn't add too much bulk to your phone. So you shouldn't have too much issues with that. The button cutouts are really nice as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet so you can actually hear these. So I'm applying no extra force actually maybe just a tad bit, but for a case that is actually this thick compared to all of the other cases Spigen makes, uh, you still get really nice uh, clicks on your, uh, on your buttons, which is nice. We also get a nice cutout for our speaker grill up here. So as you can see, it's actually above the speaker. They've actually uh, molded it up. So your speaker still gives off all the sound that it needs. The bottom portion has its speaker cutouts as well with the charging port cutout, which is just a tad bit larger. So if you are using a third party charger, you shouldn't have any issues with that. So. Our mute switch, again, it's a little deep inside of there since the case is a little thicker, but you're still pretty easily able to reach it, which shouldn't be a problem for most people, and you will probably get used to it. So one thing I am actually wondering is if a MagSafe charger will work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop this on right here. And so it is charging, but the magnets don't work. So since the case is a little thick and it's not a MagSafe compatible case, the charger does just actually slide off easily. and if you are using MagSafe, unless it's just in this one perfect position, then MagSafe doesn't work with it, which is okay because it already doesn't say it's MagSafe compatible. So overall, this case is really nice. Uh, we do have a raised edge on this side. It is an equal edge. It would be nice if they made it like maybe let's say D-Brand's case where they actually have the middle portions actually lowered down. So when you're holding it, it feels like it's flush with the screen, but the corners are actually raised. So if you do drop it face first, you will still have the protection. Uh, so. That will basically be wrapping it up, wrapping it up for this video. Um, as I said, this case is a really nice case and it's one of my favorite cases by Spigen. I've been using it for a couple years now for all my other devices. And if I, if you are looking for a case right now, this would be a case I would recommend if the extra bulk doesn't really bother you and you do get a kickstand functionality, which is nice. Plus the price tag isn't too high as well compared to other cases. So that will basically wrap it up for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe because that really helps support the channel and see you in the next one.